the arms carrying darling is very important to the ICRC. Uh, we take a neutral and impartial approach and we find it important to talk to both sides in any conflict, be they state militaries or be they non-state armed groups. And that dialogue is important for us, both ensuring our, our access and security and also ensuring that the arms carriers, as we call them, uh, apply uh, the law of armed conflict in their conduct of operations. Armed forces and armed groups are, are really key to this dialogue. Uh, and they bring in their experience as former senior military officers and they are part of the important process of operationalising, if you like, the law from very dry uh, book pages into uh, practical measures applied on the ground. And of course, what that requires from these delegates is uh, a really sound understanding of uh, military doctrine, of military education, military training, as well as how this translates into concrete operational measures in the conduct of uh, operations. The, the real added value of uh, these delegates is their ability to talk on a credible practitioner-to-practitioner -practitioner basis with our arms carrier interlocutors. We, we're really looking for former senior military officers with at least 15 years military experience. But I think most importantly we're looking for people with operational experience. We, we need people when they come in to already have a, at least a solid understanding of the law of armed conflict uh, we also need them to have uh, English uh, as a language and also a second language, uh, preferably French, Arabic, Spanish or another language acceptable to the ICC in doing its work. Interestingly, somebody coming from the military would perhaps recognise the environment in the ICRC in which they're going to work. It's a competitive uh, salary, competitive package of benefits and pensions. Our delegates have paid accommodation, they have a very good leave package. In addition to that, if they're in a hardship posting, delegates are compensated for that. Or in more benign environments, there is the ability uh, to be accompanied by family and children. And indeed, the ICRC then contributes towards the education of those children. Well, I think the first thing you should do is, is go to the website at careers.icrc.org where you'll find the full details of, uh, of the job requirements. But I think most importantly, uh, you need to be able to see yourself uh, in the role that our delegates are doing. And you know, you need to also be able to see yourself perhaps sitting where I'm sitting one day. Let's see.